Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do complete chapter of temperature for class 5. We are going to discuss each and every concept related to temperature. So make sure you watch the entire video. But before starting with this chapter, let me tell you, we have made videos on every chapter of class 5 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets and quizzes on each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First, we will understand what is temperature. Then we will learn about units of temperature that is celsius and fahrenheit after that we will do very important topics how to convert celsius into fahrenheit and fahrenheit into celsius in the end i will give you a worksheet for your practice so let's start and first understand what is temperature Temperature is the measure to describe how hot or cold anything is. And how temperature is measured? We use a device to measure temperature and device is called as thermometer as shown in this picture. Now let's learn about units of temperature. Students, there are two units to measure temperature. First is degree Celsius, which is denoted by degree capital C. Second unit to measure temperature is degree Fahrenheit. It is denoted by degree capital F. Based on these two units, we also have two types of thermometer. First is Celsius thermometer and second is Fahrenheit thermometer. So thermometer which measures temperature in Celsius is called as Celsius thermometer and thermometer which measures temperature in Fahrenheit is called as Fahrenheit thermometer. Now students, before proceeding further, let's learn some facts about temperature. First is Freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. It means at 0 degree Celsius, water turns into ice. And in terms of Fahrenheit, it is 32 degree Fahrenheit. Next, boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. It means at this temperature, water turns into steam. And in terms of Fahrenheit, it is 212 degree Fahrenheit. And lastly, normal temperature of our body is 37 degree Celsius. And in terms of Fahrenheit, it is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. So students, till now we have learned that there are two units to measure temperature. First is Celsius and second is Fahrenheit. 
and based on these two units there are two kind of thermometer celsius thermometer and fahrenheit thermometer next we learned that freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius when we use celsius thermometer but if we use fahrenheit thermometer then 32 degree fahrenheit is the freezing point of water similarly boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius when we use celsius thermometer and if we use fahrenheit thermometer then 212 degree fahrenheit is the boiling point of water students you must have used a thermometer to measure your body temperature this thermometer is called clinical thermometer or by definition thermometer which is used to measure the body temperature is called clinical thermometer and it is mainly used by doctors and as we just learned that normal temperature of our body is 37 degree celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit now let's do some questions what is the temperature if it is 10 degree celsius cooler than 60 degree celsius students cooler it means less temperature so here it is given 10 degree cooler than 60 degree so this means we will do 60 degree celsius minus 10 degree celsius to find the temperature so 60 minus 10 equals to 50 so temperature is 50 degree celsius the next question is what is the temperature if it is 20 degree celsius warmer than 70 degree celsius students warmer means more temperature so here it is given 20 degree warmer than 70 degree we will do 70 degree celsius plus 20 degree celsius so 70 plus 20 equals to 90 so answer is 90 degree celsius students we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 4 class 5 and class 6 mathematics we also have interesting maths quizzes worksheets working models activities and projects on each chapter so i would suggest you to check out our channel learning notebook now students we are going to do a very important topic how to convert temperature given in fahrenheit into celsius so the formula to convert the temperature given in fahrenheit to celsius is 5 by 9 multiplied by fahrenheit minus 32 so this formula has two parts first we do subtraction and then multiply the result with 5 by 9 so let's do some questions based on this question is convert 50 degree fahrenheit into celsius so here students we are given temperature in fahrenheit and we have to convert it into celsius as i just told you the formula to convert 
temperature given in Fahrenheit into Celsius is 5 by 9 into Fahrenheit minus 32. So, let's put the value of temperature in Fahrenheit in this formula. We get 5 by 9 multiplied by 50 minus 32. Now, first we will do subtraction here and then multiply the result with 5 by 9. So, 50 minus 32 is 18. So, we get 5 by 9 into 18. Let's simplify it. We get 5 into 2 which is equals to 10. So, answer is 10 degree Celsius. It means 50 degree Fahrenheit equals to 10 degree Celsius. Let's do next question. Convert 95 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. So, again, let's use the same formula and put the value of Fahrenheit in this formula. We get 5 by 9 into 95 minus 32. First, we will do subtraction. So, 95 minus 32 equals to 63. So, we get 5 by 9 into 63. Simplify it and we get 5 into 7 which is equals to 35. So, answer is 35 degree Celsius. 95 degree Fahrenheit equals to 35 degree Celsius. Next question is, convert 482 degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. So, let's use the formula and put the value of Fahrenheit here. 5 by 9 into 482 minus 32. Let's do the subtraction and we get 5 by 9 into 450. Simplify it and we get 5 into 50 which is equals to 250. So, answer is 250 degree Celsius. It means 482 degree Fahrenheit equals to 250 degree Celsius. Now students, I am sure you have learned the conversion of Fahrenheit into Celsius. Now let's move and understand how to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit. The formula to convert temperature given in Celsius into Fahrenheit is 9 by 5 into Celsius plus 32. So, this formula also has two parts. Here, first we will do multiplication and then we will add 32 to it. So, let's see how to use it to solve the questions. Question is, convert 10 degree Celsius into Fahrenheit. So, here we are given with temperature in Celsius and we have to convert it into Fahrenheit. As I just told you, to do the same, we have to use the formula 9 upon 5 into Celsius plus 32. So, let's put the value of temperature in Celsius here and we get 9 upon 5 into 10 plus 32. First, we will solve 9 by 5 into 10. So, simplify it and we get 9 into 
टू प्लस थर्टी टू ना नाइन इंटू टू इज एटीन सो वी गेट एटीन प्लस थर्टी टू ना वी विल एड देन एंड वी गेट फिफ्टी सो आंसर इज फिफ्टी डिग्री फेर नाइट इट मीन्स टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी डिग्री फेर नाइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कन्वर्ट फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इंटू फेदर नाइट सो लेट्स यूज द फॉर्मूला एंड पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ सेल्सियस हेयर वी गेट नाइन बाय फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी प्लस थर्टी टू सो फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व नाइन बाय फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी सिंप्लीफाइड एंड वी गेट नाइन इंटू टेन प्लस थर्टी टू नाउ सॉल्व दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन नाइन इंटू टेन इज नाइंटी एंड देन वी विल एड थर्टी टू टू नाइंटी वी गेट वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू सो आंसर इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी टू डिग्री फेर नाइट नाउ लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज कन्वर्ट 270 degree celsius into fahrenheit so let's use the formula and put the value of celsius here we get 9 by 5 into 270 plus 32 let's solve this first so simplify it and we get 9 into 54 plus 32 And nine into fifty-four is four hundred eighty-six. Add thirty-two to it, and we get five hundred eighteen. So answer is five hundred eighteen degree Fahrenheit. It means two hundred seventy degree Celsius equals to five hundred eighteen degree Fahrenheit. So students, now I am sure. you have understood how to convert temperature given in celsius into fahrenheit as well as the temperature given in fahrenheit into celsius in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice so students this worksheet contains questions from all the sections of the chapter which i have just taught you If you have skipped any of the section I will suggest you to first understand that section and then attempt this worksheet Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family Thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye